This man's confession, now the main weapon with the CBI and the National Investigating Agency. Asimanand's blow-by-blow -blow accounts of blasts in Malegao, Ajmer, Mecca Masjid and the Samjhota Express are now being scrutinized very closely. The biggest hurdle in investigations at this stage, those who are still missing. The NIA has now announced cash rewards for these two individuals, Ramji Kalsangre and Sandeep Dange, both named by Asimanand in his confessions of being close to Sunil Joshi. Both already named as accused by the Rajasthan anti-terror squad in the charge sheet filed in Ajmer Blast case. This is a third man, Ashok, also known as Prince, who now has a cash reward against his head of 10 lakh rupees. Strangely, Ramji Kalsangre and Sandeep Dange have been missing since December 2007, the time when Sunil Joshi, the former RSL Pracharak, was murdered. In his confessional statement, Asima Nand quite clearly names these two individuals as people who are working very, very closely with Sunil Joshi in all terror strikes. Bharat Rateshwar and Jayanti Bhai Kevad are the other two links in this terror trail, both residents of Gujarat. While Bharat is accused of travelling with Sunil Joshi to Jharkhand, getting SIM cards used in Ajmer and Mecca Masjid Blast, Jayanti Bhai is a man named by Asima Nand as one of the financiers in the terror plot. Rateshwar is being held by the NIA at a secret location. Jayanti Bhai, a former BJP office bearer in Gujarat, outrightly denies any involvement in terror acts. It is meaningless. It is a Congress strategy. To what extent do the agencies manage to build a case against Saffron Outfits is dependent on how soon they manage to get hold of these individuals who have gone missing. In New Delhi, Bhupendra Chabe.